What's up guys, Pat here back today with another post hip arthroscopy video. Today I am officially about almost three weeks post-operation, still feeling feeling really, really good um, and excited as my weight-bearing restrictions have started to get peeled back. I'm excited to really start to get into um, some more detailed physical therapy as I feel like in the first couple of weeks you're very limited in what you're able to do. Um, but today, really wanted to take you guys through um, some items that I had purchased going into my surgery, as well as um, during the first week of my surgery that have really enhanced my recovery, made my lifestyle, um, and I guess just ease of living uh, much, much easier over the first couple weeks post-surgery. So I want to share these things with you. Um, if you're planning to have this surgery so that um, you can uh, make the decision if you think that these things um, would be beneficial for you. Uh, so for ease of accessibility, I have linked all of the products that I'm going to be uh, reviewing today and recommending in the description of this video. So um, head down to the description and utilize those links um, because those are the exact items that I purchased. Number one is a shower shield. I found this on Amazon. It was a seven pack for $10. The hip is in an interesting position with a lot of the things that I looked at at CVS prior to my surgery, uh, not really working for it because they're, they were more for knees and elbows and things like that. The hip's in kind of an odd position. So this thing right here actually uh, just tapes on to your body so you, what you do is essentially remove this white part and there's sticker um, a, a, a sticky seal around the outside and then you apply it to the um, area in which your incisions are so it did a, a phenomenal job in keeping that covered i've heard people using uh, saran wrap and i tried that it wasn't as effective as these um, can't beat it for 10 bucks for a week's worth of supply next up and arguably the most important thing that I've purchased and also the most expensive, this right here. The Hypervolt massage gun has made the world's difference in my first couple of weeks. Keep in mind, you're um, investing in your recovery by buying this. This one specifically was about $350. Um, they do have cheaper alternatives on Amazon um, that you can get, but, uh, decided, um, with the magnitude of this surgery that I was having, um, I wasn't really going to spare any expense on getting my body fully recovered. And I've read really good reviews about this massage gun specifically. Um, my PT also recommended picking one up because, uh, ultimately you're going to be laid up for a while. All of those muscles in your operated leg such as the hamstring, the glute, the quad, um, the calf muscles, the IT band, all that stuff is getting super, super tight because you're not putting any weight on your your legs. So every time you go to physical therapy, they're, part of the physical therapy is, is massaging out some of those tighter muscles. Um, but most doctors are gonna write you a prescription for physical therapy at most two to three times per week. So out of the other uh, three to four days of the week that you're not there, your muscles are just continuing to tense up and get tighter and tighter. By purchasing this massage gun, I spend at least 20 to 30 minutes per day, sometimes even twice a day, massaging out my operated leg, which has made such a difference. It's really helped me in my flexibility, um, the tightness in the area of the operation. Um, and I felt so much better. I cannot say enough about it. Um, I was always somebody who, who had, I, I know these have become increasingly popular. Um, I also think at first I was kind of skeptical about how effective they were, but um, just for the sheer purpose of keeping your lower body, specifically the leg that you're not using at all, keeping those muscles loose is gonna pay off tenfold in your recovery process. So with the Hypervolt, it comes with um, four or actually five different attachments. Um, and there's a booklet on um, which attachments 
specifically are best for um, which types of muscles. So I'm, I'm still kind of I'm still kind of learning um, which attachment goes best with what. What I have read is that some of these bigger um, and flatter attachments are best for larger muscles, so the hamstrings, the quads, where some of these smaller ones are more beneficial for like a really small muscle. Um, I'll do another video kind of going through my daily routine in week three to four. I'll make sure I include this because it has been such a big part of my uh, recovery process. So like I said, this this piece you know, and package all together runs for about $350 on Amazon. I will also link the economic version of this. So like I said, there's so many companies out there right now that are making these. Um, let me uh, also kind of put in economy one. And the way I kind of look at it is, is this is an investment that um, I'm not only going to use for the recovery process, but also um, when I get back into exercise um, and, and being able to go to the gym and being able to jog again, um, this will be so beneficial in, in loosening up some of those, those muscles. This one's pretty basic. You might already have this already, but just a, a tray table. Um, I, I got this because, uh, especially over the first couple weeks, you're not really going to be able to sit at a table. Um, so w when I was sitting in my recliner or in my bed and I was eating a meal, made it a lot simpler um, and, and it didn't lead to, to any mess. Next up is for physical therapy and stretching. So a band that is like this. So essentially it has a hook on one end and then it's a long string. Um, what this does, you actually wrap this around your foot and then tug on the other end. So for um, stretching your hamstring um, and, and kind of moving your operated leg into a comfortable position without engaging um, the hip flexor and groin muscles, which, which would be compromising and, and uh, taking the weight bearing of that movement on uh, your upper body and not your lower body. Um, this has been super beneficial as well as if you lay on your stomach and you wanna do a quad stretch, you would, you would hook it around your ankle or your foot of the operated leg on your stomach and then pull kind of over your shoulder um, to get a good sweat stretch of the quad. I found that to be super beneficial as well. Um, I've spent about, I would say, at least 20 minutes on just stretching alone on a daily basis, doing those basic movements, because um, what I found is that really loosens up my groin and hip flexor on the operated side and has made such uh, a, a difference in, in how stiff I've felt um, and has really helped with that. Next up is this Everlasting Comfort Pillow. I got this uh, because initially I was having trouble with sleeping. This actually goes in between your legs um, and rests there and it has a strap that um, goes on one of your legs to keep it in place. And it was super beneficial at first because it actually allowed me to uh, begin to sleep on my side after a few days. So I think that one of the biggest concerns uh, over the first week or so after having the surgery as I was struggling to sleep uh, because you're stuck in the same position on your back all night. Um, and, and by purchasing this, I was able to start being able to move around comfortably without risking my leg going into a compromising position. So you may be noticing a theme here. Um, pillows are very important in the first couple of weeks. So I made the purchase of this type of pillow, um, which is basically just a backrest, which um, made it really nice, especially over the first couple of days when you're sitting in bed, um, whether you have a headboard or not. Um, it's it's not the most comfortable position to sit up in. In those first couple of days, you're, you are going to be limited to um, and confined to your, your bed for the most part. So a pillow like this allows you to sit up so you're not lying directly on your back, especially for times when you're eating or even if you just need to readjust your position to be in a up, more upright position. So that wraps up today's video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. Um, we encourage you to hit the subscribe button to see more of these videos and follow me along my journey to recovery, um, as well as leave a comment. So let us know what your experiences are. Let us know um, what types of videos you want to see. And most importantly, let us know what questions you have about hip arthroscopy that we can answer for you from my experience. 
um, because most importantly, that's 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 my goal here to add as much value and, and be as um, beneficial and, and helpful to anybody who's weighing having this surgery or is going through the recovery process and just needs some some motivation and support. So get better every day and we'll see you guys next time.